<laughs> okay, everyone, back here with Wendy Starlin this morning, and no, she's not going to sing. It's early for musicians. You know, we hear that a lot, so we understand. No, but let's talk, <laughs> let's talk about you for just a moment. What is the... N I know that your music has changed a little bit. You can Google her and find out some information, see some older music videos. There's some beautiful, beautiful photos that you can see as well. But how, how is it like when you, when you go on photo shoots like this? It's, it's amazing. I'm actually, um, my next campaign is going to be with Rock and Roll People. Um, oh, based on Their new uh, fall campaign, so I'm excited about that. And um, yeah, it's, it's an amazing experience because, you know, artists' relationship with brands more than ever is, is so important because the music industry is changing in such a huge way. And, uh, and now brands really want to get involved with the artist's career and, and um, I've been able to collaborate uh, with Pink Pump and P2, which has been an incredible experience, actually, what I'm wearing right now. I wanted to tell you that the uh, jacket you have on is absolutely stunning. Thank what line you. is that? That is uh, Pink, Pink Pump. Nice. And um, we did an incredible, I have a company called Give Back Entertainment, and uh, we did a cross promotion with them um, with the Make a Wish Foundation, nice. which was an incredible thing. And for Fashion Week, we had these two little uh, Make a Wish kids walk the runway in pink yeah. pump and P2 clothing and because uh, their wishes were to be supermodels. <laughs> so it was great. The so press they got to walk out. the runway and feel like supermodels. They did and it was an amazing thing and a percentage uh, of everything we do goes back to, um, you know, went back to the Make-A-Wish Foundation with uh, pink pump and P2 for that specific campaign. Do you campaign. pick different charities? I know mean, I've heard you say that that's important yeah. for you to give back. It really is. Um, I think that it's just a part of life, you know. We all we're all so blessed with everything, uh, and to live a life where I'm making music and doing what I love, uh, the least I could do is give back and uh, do my part to at least create awareness mm -hmm. as well. Now I know we've we've mentioned that you did discover Lady Gaga. We're not up here to talk about Lady Gaga, though. We're talking about you and all the fun things you're doing in the future. Uh, Snoop Dogg, a song. Yeah, I've got um, a new song that I've been working on with uh, uh, Echo MC and um, JC, uh, a great singer also, and, uh, and we did a collaboration with Snoop Dogg, so I'm really excited. Uh, <laughs> Got that in the works. I'm and sure never a dull moments. Now we're going to run just a little bit of a music video just so that you can see it. Now your music has changed some. Tell me the difference in your music then to now. Well, I did a bunch of uh, music. Um, I, I released a, my song Dancing with the Sea on Universal in Europe. In Europe. Mm -hmm. And um, I toured throughout Europe there and I had the privilege of um, working with uh, conductor Luis Ella Chiarini and mm -hmm. the ACO Val Vibrata Symphony Orchestra um, in Italy which was incredible and uh, the genre was really really great for Europe um, the song was actually honored by the Songwriters Hall of Fame so lots of great stuff was happening and uh, once I got back to the United States I was really um, and I moved from New York to LA I thought that was a big change. It was a huge change. <laughs> it was a huge change. And it's funny because all of the, you know, the sounds and the noise from, uh, you know, the cars, cars. and the mm -hmm. bustle from New York City uh, made me want to create much more soothing music. And then once I got out into Los Angeles, there was all this space and mm. palm trees and sunshine. And awesome and, weather. <laughs> yeah, and, but because there was a lot more quiet, it made me want to fill up the space more with, mm. it made me want to rock, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. So I've been working on a rock record, and um, more recently I've been uh, working with a producer, Andrew Lane, who is an incredible producer. He actually did work with Miley Cyrus. Mm -hmm. uh, we, Miley Cyrus has been the big topic yeah, I know, today. Apparently. <laughs> she knows how to get the buzz going. And, um, and uh, you know, he did High School Musical, and he, he's just mm -hmm. an incredible talent. We've been working on some songs together, and um, also with Dario Forzato, um, an incredible uh, guitarist, co-writer from uh, Milan, 
Italy. You know, we have a lot of local talent here in the area, and when they come up and they want to sing, and some girls have been so nervous, and then afterwards it just builds their confidence. What is the best advice you can give some young ladies that are interested in getting into this market? Because it's not easy to get no. where you are. It's not easy. It, it takes so many different elements. Uh, the first thing it takes are great songs. I mean, you can have a crappy voice and a great song and go to number one, but if you've got a great voice and a mediocre song, you'll go down the tubes. Mm -hmm. And that's been proven with so many amazing singers who just didn't have the hits. Um, so A, learn how to write a song, know your craft. Um, and if you can't write a song, don't be afraid to collaborate with people who are better than you. It's just like athletics. Know your weaknesses and strengths. Know your weaknesses. Yeah. And, and on top of it, it really does take a team. You know, I know that whoever the superstar is goes up and, you know, likes to say, Oh, it's all me, it's all me. Are and you talking I'm about Jamie again? <laughs> You know, Jamie, you know, you take all the credit, you don't give credit to your team. No, but it, it really does take, you know, an army of people, you know, producers, writers, managers, agents, whoever, who um, really work to create um, the, you know, the foundation for the artist to, you know, thrive. And, um, so it takes luck, it, it takes a lot of things, but I'd say the number one thing, you need hit songs um, and you need great production so that they're presented in, a, you know, they got to sound radio ready. Is there one thing that, out of all the interviews that you've done, something someone has not asked you that you wish they had? I know oh, that's a big man. question. <laughs> Is there something um, you want to say you've not had an opportunity to say? We've got about one minute left. No um, pressure. It's no, no pressure. It's live. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Um, I, I would just, you know, i just like to say that, um, you know, if you have the opportunity to really uh, pursue your dream, that is the most important thing, is taking a swing up at the plate. And it's not based on, how, you know, all of the accolades. And, you know, I feel like uh, the focus has changed in the last few years uh, much more to you know fame and money yeah. and much more materialistic things and I, I think that some of the soul has come out of the music uh, as a result and I think that if you look back to the to the heroes the the Bonos and the Stings and the which by the way she would love to be able to perform <laughs> with Bono and Sting just to you get know, it out there. You know, some of I, and I still there are still great artists out there. I mean, people like Bruno Mars, I, my hat goes yeah, off to you. Awesome. Amazing people, but um, there are, you know, I, I think that the craft of songwriting is so crucial and uh, to really focus on that and uh, take your swing up up at the bat. You never you give up. The opportunities you never take. I'm quick. Yes. How have you enjoyed doing morning television in Athens, Alabama? You know what? It's been the best TV experience of my life. <laughs> All right, so right there, there, right there, just say, <laughs> Jamie Cooper, ZTV, loved it. Jamie Cooper, ZTV, loved it. <laughs> All you, baby. <laughs> Let's get cozy. <laughs> All right, Wendy, thank you so much for getting up early. Thank I you. know it was uh, brutal, but. Thank no, you. it's awesome. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoyed thank it. You. All right, we've got to get out of here for today. Have an awesome day. Bye.